Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm actually going to do some intake work. So I ended up getting this Dremel kit right here from Harbor Freight for like under 10 bucks. And I'm kind of guessing that I need to guess get rid of the imperfections inside the intake, but I'm not too sure about that. I'm going to clean it first and see if it actually needs it or not. But we're actually going to take off everything on the intake itself. Like so the intake's already out of the car because to remove the engine from the car for the donor car, I needed to take the intake off originally, just to make sure everything was nice and smooth and didn't break. So I have it out already, so now I just need to completely just, yeah, just take it apart, clean it, and we're gonna see the butterfly valve system, so it's gonna be pretty legit. Let's go see it. And that's it right there. So I'm gonna bring this back inside and see how much I need to replace and see what's missing. Let's go find out. And here it is, in the house, under a really terrible tiny mat, so hopefully I don't get my carpet dirty. <laughs> but I'm going to start taking apart this thing and seeing exactly what's going on, and I'm going to show you guys what I find. Oh man, that is cool as hell. Look at that. So if I just move these little valves here, if you guys can focus in. I guess those are the valves. And the butterfly, uh, IAB. So my thing is, obviously the one closest to the intake is like the cleanest. Well, these got a little less love from the movement of air. So I don't know, this is the reason why you need an oil cash can. So get an oil cash can ASAP. But let's continue on. Well this is definitely one thing out I guess. Clean that up pretty well. Oh man look how bad that is under there. That's pretty gross. Ooh yeah. These runners don't look too bad. Except that one and that one. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do basically is I'm gonna take off the gasket. The best of my abilities, I don't wanna use a can of um, carb cleaner because it's just going to cost a lot of money getting a few of those cans. And if I can just like get like a tub and use hot water and maybe some dish soap and like a, I don't know, like a brush or something, I'll do that instead. And use my leaf blower to kind of clean everything off. But other than that, yeah, it's just going to be pretty simple. Hopefully this thing will be nice and clean because that's the whole point I'm trying to do this with. <laughs> and hopefully everything runs properly and thanks to this video, I'll have every single thing I've taken off so far back in the place I took it off of. <laughs> because there's a lot of air hoses going to a bunch of random things. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. So that was a good find. Alright, so I got the plenum off and this is going to be the throttle body right here. So as you can tell, it's all kind of gross and grimy, it's really heavy, <laughs> but it's really, really bad in there. What's holding this down is about four bolts, so I'm just going to take those four outer bolts on the sides there and then knock that out. Man, this grime is terrible. Look at that. Look how thick that is. It's <laughs> uh. <sighs> There you go. That's a lot better, huh? <laughs> And that's it kind of clean guys, so 
to be honest, I couldn't get like, like a hardcore chunks of like deposits in there. I haven't used like 2000 grit sandpaper to even like sort of get it out, but hey, likely it was before, that's for sure. Sip of water. All right guys, so I got that done. This is just like one out of three, I guess. So at least this is nice and clean. Now I'm gonna do the top throttle. <laughs> Nice. And this thing is gross. So as you can see, finally got it out, but this thing is disgusting. Holy shit. Let's just open that up. Man. I mean, nothing too bad, but like, I mean, since I already got it out, might as well just clean it up. You feel? But that buildup was getting pretty crazy. So I'm going to dunk this and clean my hands. And let's see how clean I can get it. And here it is finished. So, whoop. so I actually got it cleaned. To be honest, if I can get it focused in there, some deep scratches on the actual like plate. That just happened. I don't know how I did that, but <laughs> it might hurt it, it might not. So nonetheless, I like the way it turned out. It's really nice and clean. All right guys, so I decided to dunk that and dunk the intake, which is like somewhere over there. Yeah, the plenum, I guess. And I just prepared a big old like batch of just water and soap just to get rid of all the grease and stuff like that. It's like stuck in the runners. Probably that for like an hour or so and then it should be fine. Alright, to be honest, I left this on for a little too long. It's probably been here for like three hours, <laughs> so we're gonna see what it looks like now. I got some things to scrub out the majority of the crud in the runners. Yo, so the runners look pretty good from the outside. They look a lot cleaner than it used to be. But the problem though is that I guess the combination of oil and maybe gas coming from the um, valve cover to the intake, I can't really clean the inside too well. So even like the whole soap and water like combination did clean the majority of everything off and then finishing off with like my power washer, That's it's like a weak power washer, but it worked for this like case, I guess. I'm gonna try something different to clean the inside, and one thing I found out that works pretty good, but it's really bad for the aluminum, so don't try it, but it's kinda like last minute resort of me trying it just to see how it goes, so you guys can learn from my mistakes to see if it works for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna try some oven cleaner, and it's not made for aluminum. Not made for aluminum. One more time, it's not made for aluminum. It's made for steel products. So I'm still gonna try it to see how well it does on the inside. And I'm gonna put it on and wash it off, then put it on, then wash it off, then put it on, then wash it off. But it should be pretty interesting. Don't try this at home unless you're confident in your abilities that you don't care about this thing that's gonna break, maybe. So I'm gonna wait till my girlfriend comes back to getting it because I'm currently injured right here. Kinda sucks a lot. Maybe when I was like, my last video breaking open that I don't know if those bowls are really hard to you know open I don't know but <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain right now and it's been like almost a week so I'm gonna go sit down and heal a little bit and wait till she comes back and I'm just gonna use that little spray and take off the grease so see you when that comes in all right bye so this is the oven degreaser that I got that I'm going to use on the runners. So I found actually I had some carbon throttle body cleaner and I kind of used a little bit of that in the EGR like valve. You really can't see that at all but I kind of sprayed a little bit in here and did a little little bit but not good enough to be honest. It's still really gross and janky in there so I'm going to try that. We're going to see how well that works out on here 
and only in the inside. The outside, I'm probably gonna do one more go, but it looks a lot better than it before, and I don't feel like, I don't know, what if this messes up the outside, and I don't feel like messing with that. So, we're gonna figure that out and do it right now. So, to be honest, that's as good as I'm gonna get. I only paid like $2.50 for the can, and that was just with one can, leaving it on for like five minutes, spraying it off, doing it like two or three times. Um, you definitely can get this done with this like method, I guess, but I really wouldn't do it on the outside. Maybe, I don't know, it's up to you guys, but I did a little spot on the bottom just to check it out and see if it did anything, and it was like five minutes of, of exposure of acid, so let's see. So as you can tell, this looks like in the bottom here. And this is what it did on the outside. So it definitely cleaned it up, you can say. But yeah, I don't know, it's just to each his own. As you can tell from the top, it kind of degraded the actual like bare aluminum. So it's kind of discolored now on the top. That's not really gonna affect anything in my opinion, because there's gonna be a gasket on here and it's still nice and smooth and it really didn't do anything terrible. So I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm officially done. Time to put everything back together and see how everything's gonna play out. Oh, and I'm gonna gonna clean up this rust with some sandpaper real quick. So this is all nice and shined up compared to what it was before. So now I'm gonna toss everything back on the plenum and tighten it down to 16 foot pounds. All right, so it looks a little better to be honest. Like I could have gone a little harder on this, but I'm just gonna leave it as is because it's a lot better than it was before. Now that I got everything clean up to spec, time to toss everything back together. All right, so now I'm gonna toss in the intake uh, throttle. And that's pretty much it guys, so everything's super clean, back up to spec, and pretty satisfying to be honest. Alright, so now that I guess that the intake is like nice and clean, I can actually start taking things out of the engine now to see how the cams and the springs and to see the actual wear and tear on a 300,000 mile engine. <laughs> that's it gonna be for the intake. Um, I really wanna put this in the car to be honest, it looks really good, but I'm gonna hold off, I'm gonna hold off. I'm going to take the valve cover off next, but that's going to be the next episode. So, if you like what you saw, like and subscribe. Comment down below if you had any questions or maybe I missed something, let me know. But, this is Alex, signing out.